Creating a voiceover in Adobe Spark is a simple process. However, you need to be aware of its limitations. For example, Adobe Spark will only allow you to create a voiceover of approximately 10 seconds long. So even if your slide, like this one here, is set to 30 seconds, you'll see how at about the 10 second mark, it will give you a warning. To create the voiceover, go over to the microphone icon, click on it and hold down and begin to create your voiceover, like this. This photo is from the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation. I found it and sourced it from the web. You can see, as I was doing the voiceover, I got a pop-up warning above the microphone icon that told me to keep my voiceover short. If you need to do a longer voiceover for a particular slide, you might want to just come down here on the slide that you need the longer voiceover, click the three dots, and duplicate this slide. That'll give you another 10 seconds over here on this slide with which to do another voiceover. However, remember on this slide to remove the narration. Then, simply go back to the microphone icon and continue on with your voiceover. Okay, now I can tell you a little bit more about the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation because I have more time on this slide. When you're done, you can come back to the, the first slide where you started your voiceover, right click with the mouse and say play from here. And you'll see how your voiceover will continue on to the next slide and play as if it were longer. This photo is from the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation. I found it and sourced it from the web. Okay, now I can tell you a little bit more about the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation because I have more time on this slide. Voiceovers can also be added to slides where you've imported video. However, the 10 second limit applies here to the videos too. So just make sure you plan accordingly and time your dialogue out so that each slide only has approximately 10 seconds of voiceover.